Hi guys, what is going on? Jack from Minifigs, and today I wanted to talk about the best LEGO Star Wars set that you can currently buy in 2023. And I'm going to break down five reasons why this is, for sure, one of the best LEGO sets that you can buy this year. But before we get into it, I better just say that I'm not a financial advisor, and this isn't financial advice. This is just my personal opinion on this LEGO set that I personally have really high hopes for. And before we get into the video, I just want to say if you could please make sure to like and subscribe, that would really help the channel out as I'm working so hard on getting to 1000 subs. Cheers guys. So getting into it now, what is going to be the best LEGO Star Wars set to buy in 2023? Well for me, there is no other winner than the Republic Fighter Tank, set 75342. So we're going to look at five reasons now why this set is the perfect set, not just for your own personal collection, but if you're also into LEGO investing. And reason number one is price point. So I think the price point for this LEGO set is absolutely perfect, and for once it's not overpriced. And it's at that nice mid-price range, where it's not too expensive, but it's also not exactly cheap. Coming in at $39.99 for the UK and the US, and then $44.99 for Europe. And the reason why this price point is good if you're a LEGO investor, is because the minifigures in this set will retain a decent market value, compared to a LEGO minifigure that's say in a $10 set. In which case that minifigure, as good as it may be, will likely stay rock bottom in terms of its price for a very long time, where that's certainly not going to be the case for these minifigures. Reason number two why this is one of the best LEGO sets you can buy is the minifigures. That's right, the minifigures in this set are absolutely insane. You get Mace Windu, who even has arm printing, which is always great to see on a minifigure. Then you've got three clone troopers, one of which is a clone commander, and then you've got two regular battle droids. And it's worth noting that Mace Windu and the 187th Legion clone troopers are actually exclusive to this LEGO set. So you can't get these minifigures in any other set, which is always something that will help boost the value of a LEGO set, when it has great minifigures that you can only buy in that certain set. And it is probably worth mentioning again just how good that LEGO Mace Windu minifigure is. And even when you compare it to the Mace Windu minifigure that was included in the UCS Republic gunship, it still completely blows it out of the water. So providing LEGO don't do something absolutely crazy, such as including him in the LEGO Star Wars magazine polybag, then this could really be an expensive and sought after minifigure in the future. Moving on to reason number 3, it's a clone trooper set. Yes, just the fact that it's a clone trooper based LEGO set will really affect this set's market value in the future, as people absolutely love anything to do with the Clone Wars era of Star Wars. And more importantly, people love to buy tons of the Clone Trooper minifigures in order to army build them. And the fact that this LEGO set not only has three Clone Trooper minifigures included, but the fact that they're also all exclusive to this LEGO set, is one of the main reasons why I reckon that this LEGO set is going to do so well on the aftermarket in the future. So if you're a big fan of the Clone Wars era, this LEGO set is definitely for you. Moving on to reason number four, we have the fact that it's a Tesco and Target exclusive. Yes, the fact that the Republic Fighter Tank is a Tesco and Target store exclusive is going to have a real impact on how this LEGO set performs on the aftermarket. Obviously, you can still buy this LEGO set from the LEGO store. However, the fact that this LEGO set is exclusive to Tesco's and Target, and that you can't find it in any other retailers, puts a real limit as to how many people are going to be able to pick up this LEGO set. For sure, by the time this LEGO set retires, there will still be many LEGO Star Wars fans that haven't been able to grab this set. So of course, it is going to suck for a lot of LEGO Star Wars fans that won't be able to pick up this set in time due to the fact that this LEGO set isn't as readily available as many other LEGO sets. However, from a LEGO investing and reselling point of view, this is perfect. Because if you are able to grab a load of these sets, then when it comes to reselling, there will be a lot more people in the market ready to buy up sets at a higher price. And that moves me to my final reason for today, reason number 5 why this set is going to do so well, high demand, low stock. Low stock has been a real issue for this LEGO set since its release, and the fact that it's such a sought after set with high demand has not helped the situation, leading to a lot of LEGO stores not even having it on their shelves. And when you pair that fact 
with the fact that this is already a highly sought after set with extremely high demand, then it's led to somewhat of a feeding frenzy with people searching high and low to get their hands on this set. Luckily, LEGO has started to get somewhat of a grip on the situation as you're now able to readily buy the LEGO set off of the LEGO website. However, at least from my perspective in the UK, I've yet to see this LEGO set in stock in a LEGO store or in a Tesco store. But if you're a LEGO investor and you've already got a load of these LEGO sets, then this is actually good news for two reasons. One, it tells us that there's a high demand for this LEGO set and that lots of people are eager to get hold of this set for many reasons, such as the fact that it's a decent price point, it has good minifigures, whatever the reason, people are desperate for this set. And number two, because of the fact that there's such low stock, it means when it comes to reselling, you won't be facing a horde of competition also looking to sell their Lego set. There will be a much smaller quantity of Lego sets on the aftermarket, which will likely lead to high prices very quickly after its retirement. And for those that don't believe me, I'd say, take a look at the Armourer's Mandalorian Forge and see how that has performed recently. That set is very similar to the Republic Fighter Tank in the fact that there was very low stock and it was a Target store and Smith's Toy Store exclusive. And again, it was a Lego set that you very rarely saw in store. You could only ever get it online, just like the Republic Fighter Tank. And what happened as soon as it retired? Overnight, it almost doubled in price. And if I had to make a prediction, I would say that this will likely be a very similar situation when the Republic Fighter Tank retires. But tell me guys, how much do you rate this Lego set? Will you be buying it just for yourself? Or will you be investing in it as well? Let me know down in the comments. And let me know if there's any other Lego sets that you think actually beat this Lego set in terms of an investment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.